All right, get comfortable, just like you would for any kind of meditation. Close your eyes. Maybe take some deep breaths. And relax your whole body. And just let yourself come into the room. Notice what's happening. And it's really useful for any kind of meditation to not jump into something, not jump into the meditation. And actually take two minutes, three minutes just to hang out with what's happening. Because the mind will naturally start going towards the object of meditation because it knows what needs to be done. You just have to let it kind of come in. A little smile on your face. Lighten up. Notice where there's any tension in your body. Relax. Tension in your head. Relax. Your shoulders, your chest, relax. And your buttocks. legs, your arms, hands, relax. Your feet. Now your whole body is feeling relaxed, tension-free. Now bring up the phrase, may I, I forgive myself for not understanding. And just let that phrase sit there. And be mindful of what comes up when you say that phrase. Maybe you have some doubt about what to do. So what do we do? We forgive that. And then we relax. I forgive myself for not understanding. Situations may come up from the past. People who have caused you pain. We 
when they come up. Look them in the eye and forgive them. Forgive them for not understanding. Forgive them for causing you pain. I forgive myself for not understanding. For those who have practiced metta for a while, please make the determination. I will not go above the first jhana for this meditation. The reason for that is that once you go beyond the first jhana, your mind stops thinking so much. And this is a meditation that involves contemplation. It's not a concentration um, or even a collectedness type of meditation. It is There's a meditation looking at situations and memories and letting them come up and be there and forgiving them and working with them on a personal level. So instead of just seeing it as a feeling, we're actually seeing it as the situation. If there's a person that's caused you pain, we forgive the person. Because usually anger goes after personal, personality. It doesn't go after impersonal things. So this is a personal meditation. I forgive myself for not understanding. If there's some restlessness, I forgive myself for being restless. I forgive, I forgive the restlessness. I forgive myself for having caused pain to others and to myself. Just let your mind be open. Don't control anything that arises. Just simply see what comes. If nothing comes, that's okay. 
just go back to I forgive myself for not understanding. I forgive myself for having caused pain to others and to myself. And if you want to use the word forgive, just in, in your mind, you just forgive, forgive, relax. Just to remind yourself. When a person comes up, stay with that person for a little while. See them just like you're there talking to them. And look them in the eye and say, I forgive you for having caused pain. Now, at times, your mind won't want to forgive. It'll try to run away. And this that you're going to accept change. That you're going to let this pain go. Because the only person that hurts is you. These situations in the past are obviously in the past and they're not, they don't exist. And yet they come up in your mind and they still bother you. I forgive myself for not understanding. If your mind wanders, forgive that wandering mind. I forgive myself for wandering around. I forgive myself for being distracted. And then come back to your main phrase of, I forgive myself for not understanding.
And you can play with the meditation a little bit. This is not an absolutely solid method where you have to do everything exactly right. You can just see what happens. If things are not happening for you, you can try another phrase like, I forgive myself for everything that I've ever done wrong. Everything. I forgive myself for judging myself. As to what is right and what is wrong. And at times you need to stay with yourself. You feel embarrassed or humiliated or grief or guilt about your own actions. Then you have to look yourself in the eye. I do forgive you. You just didn't understand. It's okay. Let's let it go. And if tears come, it's okay. Let them come. It's just another feeling. When we try to stop it, we're trying to control it because we don't like it, because we think we shouldn't cry, we shouldn't feel these feelings. But the fact is, it's just part of who we are and just let it be there and observe it. I forgive myself for not understanding. I forgive all beings everywhere who have ever done, re done me wrong. And that phrase, you can see how this is really just a part of loving kindness meditation. Because the next part of it would be, may all beings be happy. May all beings have understanding of what they do and what is right and what is wrong, what is wholesome, what is not wholesome. wholesome. But coming back to forgiveness, I forgive myself and others 
who have caused me pain. I forgive myself for wandering my, my my wandering mind. I forgive myself for being restless. I forgive myself for having doubt. I forgive myself for not being perfect. I forgive my family members for anything that they have done that hurt me or caused me to feel pain. I forgive them for not understanding. When pain arises and soften into that pain, forgive the pain and relax. Let the pain be there. It's only an impermanent feeling. It won't last. I forgive everyone.
I forgive myself for wondering when the timer will go off. I forgive myself for not understanding, it doesn't matter. If there's a pain in your body, forgive that pain. If you're sick, forgive, forgive yourself for being sick. Forgive your body for being sick. If you have some sort of disease or some little tumor or anything that's in your body, forgive yourself for having that. Forgive it for having, for it causing you pain and causing you worry. I forgive myself for not understanding. <laughs> 